My name is Kelsey, and I work with the United States Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Services National Wildlife Disease Program. My team is dedicated to monitoring disease in wild animals so that we can make sure that people, animals, and agriculture stay healthy. I've learned so much about the important work we do, and I'm excited to share how my recent work with wild birds in Alaska has improved our understanding of avian influenza. Myself and two experienced biologists traveled by boat through remote wetlands outside of Palmer, Alaska in the height of the beautiful Alaskan summer. We had been setting up traps for several days in preparation for our disease surveillance project, and it was finally time to work with some ducks. We take samples from ducks because they naturally carry avian influenza viruses, often without getting sick, and their migration patterns give them the potential to spread the virus across large areas and over great distances. Once the traps are set, ducks enter through a narrow opening to feast on corn, and then they can't figure out how to get back out. When we arrive soon after, we attach a cage to a trap door on the side of the trap and herd the ducks into the specialized cage. Sometimes the ducks don't enter the box, so we have to carefully catch them in a net. From there, we can move them onto our boat and work with them one by one. Whenever we are working with animals, we always wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, like gloves. This keeps us safe from the animals and also keeps the animals safe from us. The first thing we do once we have a bird in hand is attach a uniquely numbered band onto the right leg of each newly captured bird. These permanent bands allow us and our many partners to study and understand bird behavior, movement, and migration patterns because when a banded bird is recaptured, we can see when and where it was last studied. We take samples from each bird to test for avian influenza. We take a swab from each duck's mouth and cloaca. The swabs are put into a vial of molecular transport media. That media is a substance that preserves any virus until we can get it to a lab for testing. This information from our wild bird surveillance helps monitor for changes in the virus over time and provides awareness of disease risk to the poultry industry, wildlife managers, public health officials, and our global stakeholders. During sampling, my colleagues and I work together as a team to be efficient and to cause as little stress as possible for the animals. One person records the data while the other two biologists inspect, band, and sample the ducks. The bird bands also let us know if a duck was caught earlier during the same trapping expedition. If the duck was banded recently, we know not to sample it again and we don't count the same animal twice. Once we are done with each duck, they are released back into the wild. For more information on avian influenza and other important projects that the United States Department of Agriculture is involved in regarding wildlife diseases, please visit the National Wildlife Disease Program online at aphis.usda.gov.